Hi, hello, Guadalupe. Hello, Oscar. Good evening. Good evening, Good evening group. Hi. Hello, Guadalupe. Hello, Hi, how are you? Fine. And you? I'm great. <laughs> so happy to be uh -huh. here. Okay, let's get started. Let's see. We're only two people. Ya voy a decir que me le quiten los diplomas a los demás porque no se conectaron a la última clase. All right. And they still have gaps. Todavía hay cosas que no las manejan bien. So we need to see what's going on. Ya vamos a averiguar qué sucede. Let me check. Hello, Andrea. All right. Oscar, are you a doctor too? Yeah, I'm working tonight. Oh, oh no. <laughs> I didn't know that. I thought you were a student. <laughs> This whole time. Creí que era un estudiante nada más. No. Great. Good for you. You're a student. Huh? Seven years ago. No. No, six ago? years. Six. No, six six years ago. Oh wow. That's a lot. A lot of time. Yeah. Well, good for you. You are doing something good for this humanity. <laughs> let's check. Thank you. Everyone, let's see. Welcome back to your English class. It's a pleasure to see you all. It's a pleasure to be in here. Today we have the final review. I'm pretty happy for you because most of you already finished the platform and that's something to uh, congratulate, all right? Because you're doing well so far, so good. Today we're going to start, I'm gonna go right now to the platform because we are missing one video for it, right? Ya eh, finalizamos completamente la platform, pero hay un video que tenemos que ver que se llama Raising the US, okay? I'm going to play it. Voy a ponerlo. Let's pay attention. And if you have any questions, let me know. Here we go. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll read an article about four unique American races. You'll also develop skills in reading for specific information. Race the U.S. Climb the stairs of New York City's Empire State Building in the Empire State Building run-up. The climb is 1,050 feet, 320 meters, 86 floors, or 1,575 steps. Winners can reach the top in just 10 to 11 minutes. Can you? Take 8 or 10 days to race across America from Irvine, California, to Savannah, Georgia. Cross the entire U.S. in this 2,900-mile, 4,667-kilometer bicycle race. In this race, there are no timeouts for sleep. For 8 to 10 days, racers can sleep only about 3 hours each day. Race on the exciting white waters of the Arkansas River in the Downriver Race. Winners complete the 25.7 miles, 41.5 kilometers, in just two hours. This is the longest downriver race in the U.S. One person, one boat, take the challenge. Only possible in Alaska, the Iditarod Sled Dog Race. Race from downtown Anchorage to Nome, over 1,150 miles. 1,850 kilometers through cold, wind, and snow. Winners usually finish the course in 9 to 12 days and receive cash prizes. Okay, let's go back to the PowerPoint. Okay. So we have this readings. Let me do it that way. We have the first one, which is climb the stairs of New York City's Empire State Building. In the Empire State Building run up, 
All right? No se lee así como yo lo he hecho, ¿ok? Ustedes tienen que darle más ánimo. So let's go again. Así que iniciamos de nuevo. Climb the stairs of New York City's Empire State Building. In the Empire State Building run up. The climb is 1,050 feet, 320 meters, 1,575 steps. Winners can reach the top in just 10 to 11 minutes. Can you? Right? Uno por uno vamos a ir leyendo los paragraphs para que podamos recordar los numbers and the pronunciation. Van a ir pasando. No tengan miedo si no saben la cifra. That's what I'm here for. Para eso estoy yo aquí. Okay? So, do I have a volunteer for the first one? ¿Tenemos un voluntario para el primero? Ajá. Uh -huh. Great. Guadalupe, action. Climb the stair of New York City's Empire State Building in the Empire State Building run up. The climb is 1,050 uh, feet, 3,020 3, meters, 86 floors, or 1,575 steps. Winners can reach the top in just, to, in just 10 to 11 minutes. Can you? Very good, impressive, great job, Guadalupe, great. Uh, good fluency, okay, great job. Let's go to the second one. Take eight or 10 days to race across America from Irvine, California to Savannah, Georgia. Vaya, ahí lo hice lento y aburrido. Vamos with the real, with the real spiciness. Take eight or ten days to race across America from Irvine, California to Savannah, Georgia. Cross the entire U.S. in 2,000, let me check, yeah, 2,900 miles and 4,667 kilometers, right? Tiene que ser kilometers porque está en plural. Bicycle race. In this race, there are no times out for sleep for eight to ten days. Racers can sleep only about three hours each day. All right? I wouldn't like to compete in this one. No me gustaría competir en esta, to be honest. Let's check. Do I have a volunteer to read the reading? Let's check. Ya tuvimos a una valiente que fue Guadalupe. Another one. And don't worry about the numbers. Let me listen, Oscar. Let me listen to you. Action. Take eight or ten days to race across America from Irving, California to Savannah, Georgia. Cross the entire U.S. in this 2,900 miles, uh, 4,676 kilometer bicycle race. In this race, there are no time outs for sleep. For eight to ten days, racers can sleep only about three hours each day. Bravo, excellent, great job, good intonation, good rhythm, all right? Uh -huh. you, were, you wanted to compete. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Thank excellent. you. You're welcome. Let's go with the next one. Let's check. Race on the exciting white waters of Arkansas River in the Down River Race. Winners complete the 25.7 miles. 41.5 kilometers in just two hours. This is the longest downriver race in the U.S. One person, one both. Take the challenge. Ahora, yo voy a escoger quién va a pasar en este because this one is pretty easy peasy lemon squeezy. Este está tan sencillo como exprimir un limón. All right? So let me have... Ay, Paulita, me está manchando la pizarra. Let's check. Let me erase this. Vamos a borrar. Now that you were painting, eh, Paola, can you please read the paragraph? <laughs> Action. No, teacher. Está <laughs> chiquito, mire, okay. no tiene ni siquiera grandes <laughs> números. Vaya. Um, race, race on the exciting 
white waters of the Arkansas, rivaled in the Don River race. Winners complete the the twenty five point seven twenty five point seven miles. Mm -hmm. Twenty no forty forty one. Point five kilometers in just two hours. This is this is the longest down river race in the use. Use one person. Use one person. One both take the shilling. Repeat. U.S. U.S. Exactly. Si decimos use, estamos dando a entender otra cosa, right? Tiene que ser you. Right. Okay. Very good. Thank okay. you, Paula. Great job. Vaya, como repito, este es el the easiest one. Este es el más sencillo. Ya voy viendo que el último le va a tocar a Miguel. But right now, let's listen to... <laughs> yes. Right now, let's listen to Andrea, please. Andrea, por favor, el mismo paragraph que leyó Paula. Please, action. Okay. Race on the exciting wide waters of the Arkansas River in the Down River Race. Winners complete the 25.7 miles, 41.5 kilometers in just two, two hours. This is the longest Down River race in the U.S. One person, one boat, take the challenge. Repeat, one boat. One boat. Thank you. Very good job, Andrea. You had a good rhythm now. Tiene muy, muy buena lectura, right? El ritmo que sigue en la lectura, it's straight. Let me go with Jancy de Odanes, please. Vamos, Jancy. El mismo paragraph que Paula y Andrea han leído, please. That's a short one. Está chiquito. <coughs> Your microphone, Jancy. Okay, maybe she's not in the classroom. Okay, let's go to the next one. Oh, see, si yes, no, no, she's not. It's Cindy la que se está conectando. All right, let me just... Good evening, teacher. Hi, Jancy. All right, ahí está, please. Me va a leer este paragraph del medio que dice race on the exciting. Teacher, perdón, eh, dijo mi nombre, es que se me está cortando el internet, entonces no. no. Yes, Jancy, dije su nombre, me va a leer el paragraph que dice Race on the Exciting. Yeah, as I suppose. ¿Quién está moviendo la PowerPoint? <laughs> let's check. Let's see. Let's go to the last one then because Jancy is not going to participate. Okay. Only possible in Alaska. The Iderod Slid Dog Race. Race from downtown Anchorage to Nome. Over 1,150 miles. 1,850. Vieron como casi vomito 850 kilometers throughout cold wind and snow. Winners usually finish the cars in nine to 12 days and receive cash price. Ahí sí me gusta, right? Cash price. So let's check. Let me have Miguel, action. Okay, teacher, good evening. Only possible in Alaska. The either, either, um, either red. Either, either red. Either, either red. Teacher, ¿cuál, ¿cuál es el significado de esto? Either right. Ah, no, ese es el nombre. Either right. Either right. Either, mm -hmm. either, the either right sled race. Race from downtown Anchorage to Nome over 1,150 miles. 1,850 kilometers through cold, wind, and snow. Winners usually finish the course in 9 to 12 days and receive cash prizes. 
Great job. Thank you so much, Miguel. Good punctuation, all right? Se notó la punctuation when it was needed and great pronunciation as per usual. Okay, so let's check, my dear students. Let's move on to the follow. -up. Talents, no, abilities and talents. I know that yesterday we were talking about it. I think I had to trabajando con abilities and talents. But let's check. Remember the vocabulary. Let me listen to Andrea, please. Tell me musical or artistic and technical or mechanical. Musical, musical or as artistic. Play the play the violin, sing English song. Technical or mechan technical or me or mechanical. They see a web page, fix a car, fix a motorcycle. Excellent. Sí, eh, comprendo, Andrea, que se ha equivocado ahí donde dice O oh, porque no tiene el R. Right? That's my bad. My mistake. Ok, technical or mechanical. Eh, solamente, Andrea, eh, pronunciamos de nuevo design. Right? Design. Exactly. Design a web page. Design a web page. Very good. Thank you. Let's go with Paula, please. Athletic and other. Athletic. Do gymnastics, ride a horse, or uh, ride a ace horse, surf, mm -hmm. other, bake a cake, play chess, tell good and joke jokes. Tell good jokes. Tell good jokes. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Decir buenos chistes. Now, we know the guiding examples. Yesterday you would work in them. Ahora, quiero ver eso. Uh, as a matter of review. Como manera de review, all right? Miguel, can I listen to you, please? Can you read the information we use? Okay, present simple. We use the present simple to talk about habits or regular activities and situations. For example, Paul gets up at 5.30 every day. Uh, facts and act, act, attitudes mm -hmm. that are generally or always true. For example, nurses don't have an easy life. That's uh, right. Today, today was uh, the nurses day. Really? Mm, I guess. Let's or, check. Or yesterday. Let's let's ask the doctors that we have in the class. Sí, hay que preguntarle a la doctora mejor. <laughs> Internationally, <laughs> yes, but Salvadorian. No. <laughs> no. Okay. Uh, well, well, they just started. May May fifteen. This in Salvador. Ah, okay, okay. So they do have their date. Sí, tienen su día, solo que cambia. All mm -hmm. right. Great. Thank you. Very good to know. I never know what's going on every day. Yo nunca sé qué sucede cada día, people. I just wake up and stay alive. Vaya, me permiten, please. Voy a conectar el cargador. De nuevo se me olvidó conectar el cargador. Here we go. I'm going to turn off my camera. I'll be right back. Ya regreso. Here I am. So let's check. I want you to point out something. When you are talking about habits, it means that you do things regularly, right? What could it be an action that you do every day? Cada uno de ustedes me va a decir una acción, una acción que haga todos los días. What's an action that you do every day? Let's start with Oscar. Tell me one action that you do every day. I can hear you. I know that. my teeth. All right. Brush your teeth. Brush your teeth. Very yeah. good. Mm -hmm. uh, Andrea, tell me another activity. Una actividad que usted haga, Andrea. Um, go to the 
visit my my grandfather. Todos los días hace eso. Visit your grandfather. Yes. Okay. Eh, Miguel, tell me one activity that you do almost every day, if not every day. Mm, every day I take a shower. Uh -huh. Very good. It's true. I don't know why, no sé por qué todos los días se vayan, but it's up to you. Pero depende de usted, all right? It's, it's necessary. It's helpful. <laughs> with, with this, with this uh, calor, hot, hot? With this hotness, yes. With this weather. Yeah, we need it. We with need this it. weather. Yeah, with, uh, with this weather. That's correct. Okay, very good. Thank you. Guadalupe, what's an activity that you do every day? Uh, I comb my hair about four times in the day <laughs> during the day very good excellent cindy tell me put on makeup uh -huh, exactly put on makeup that's correct and uh, paula tell me an activity that you usually do uh every day yes i have breakfast at 9 a.m Exactly, very good. You have breakfast. That's correct. Thank breakfast. you. So all of you have different activities. You develop them each day, different timing. Todos tenemos actividades. La desarrollamos, we develop them. Desarrollamos during the day, different timing. Durante el día, pero en tiempos diferentes. What matters is that you remember how to use it in present simple. Lo que importa está que usted sepa, vaya, lo Levanten la mano virtual quienes vienen desde el P1, desde el Beginners 1, Principiantes 1. Levanten la mano virtualita. Que okay, Miguel, let's check, ¿quién es más? Okay, vamos a ver, entonces viene Miguel, Andrea, Cindy, Jancy, Oscar, en Guadalupe, en Paula. Very good. And, bueno, Paula está aplaudiendo. So I don't know if she comes there too. Ok, now. Ustedes recuerdan que during Beginners 1, durante Principiantes 1, vieron el Present Progressive, vieron el Verb to Be, right? Y ahora están viendo el Present Simple. Es necesario que ustedes lleven una secuencia de los tiempos gramaticales que van viendo y sepan diferenciar cada uno de ellos, all right? If I'm talking in Present Progressive, it's because I'm doing the action right now. If I'm talking about present simple, what does that mean? ¿Qué significa eso, Cindy? If I'm talking in present simple. Uh, that some activities that regular uh, attempts. <laughs> uh, we, we do some things regularly. Very good. That's correct. Exactly. Esa es la diferencia, right? Entre las cosas que hacemos en el momento y las que usualmente hacemos. What have you learned during this uh, course? You have learned adverse of frequency. You have learned, what else? ¿Qué más? Vocabulary about means of transportation. What else? Use can or can. Exactly. What about the use of auxiliaries? ¿Qué hay del uso de los auxiliares? Which are the auxiliaries that we have in present simple? Let's see. Do, that's. Exactly. Very good. Excellent. That's correct. Okay, now let's move on with the following. Um, simple present. Okay. Si bien es cierto, when you are talking, you are doing an awesome job. Cuando estamos hablando, hacemos un trabajo increíble, ustedes lo hacen, all right? Uh, what's the matter with writing? A donde queda el grammar y el writing, okay? Uh, simple present. With verbs that end in O, con verbos que terminan en O, CH, SH, SS, y les puse los ejemplos, go, catch, watch, wash, kiss, etc. We add ES in third person singular. Agregamos ES en la tercera persona singular. Teacher, pero eso es irrelevante, right? No, believe me. Eh, solamente, esto no está en la plataforma. El libro de gramática de donde lo saqué vale como 80 dólares, all right? I'm telling you. Es gramática avanzada porque usualmente 
a los beginners solo se les pone a conocer el simple present, que hablen el simple present, pero que hay de la parte gramatical, right? You need to have it. Para mí, tienen que llevar un balance, right? Grammar, speaking. Speaking, grammar. Entonces, tome en consideración that when you are writing, it's the same as you when you are speaking, right? With some verbs that end in why, como cry, fly, hurry, try, etc., the why changes to I-E-S. Se lo voy a poner de otro color por si no sabemos ahí cómo, cómo es. All right. There you go. El spelling cambia. De la Y, cambiamos la Y por I-E-S. In the third person singular. Right? Ahora veamos. Eh, vamos, esto, esta regla gramatical solo aplica para quienes. Third person. Exactly, very good. Paula, ¿quiénes son los third person singular que existen? Um, she, he, it. Exactly, she, he, it. Very good. Excellent. Now, uh, let's check another thing. Veamos, Miguel, ¿cómo sonaría go, catch, go y catch en tercera persona singular? Goes, catches. Mm -hmm. Very good. That's correct. Oscar, ¿cómo sonaría watch and wash? En tercera persona singular. Watches, washes. Exactly. Watches y washes. Very good. And let me ask Jansi, ¿cómo sonaría kiss en tercera persona singular? Kisses. Exactly. All right. Let's go with cry, fly, hurry, and try. Veamos, Guadalupe, how would it sound? ¿Cómo sonaría? How would it sound try and fly in third person singular? Cries, flies. Exactly. Cindy, how would it sound hurry and try in third person singular? Hurries, tries. That's correct, right? Hasta ahorita tenemos la pronunciation correct. Vaya, me avisan cuando hayan finalizado de copiar esto. En serio, no les recomiendo que, que no lo copien. Les recomiendo que lo copien, all right? Eh, para que se les grabe, ¿ok? Porque esto sí es serio cuando uno ve que, que la persona todavía me está escribiendo goes y solo le ha agregado la S al go, right? I don't want you to do that. No quiero que me hagan eso. Ok, and... Let me know when you're finished. Me avisan cuando finalice. Okay, thank you. Teacher, tengo una pregunta. Sure, Paula, I hear you. Um, en las donde sale cry, donde se le agrega y, está siempre otra consonante, pero si estuviera una vocal y después una consonante, siempre sería la misma regla. No, no ahí solo se le agrega s. Por ejemplo, s. pay. Ajá. Decimos pace, pero no le ponemos ies, solo le agregamos s. En la 2, donde está O, O, C, H, S, H. No. no. ¿No me estaba hablando de la Y? Ajá, ¿La sí. De esa. Regla? Ajá. Vale, entonces en el caso de pay, pay de pagar. Ah. O sea, cuando usted paga, usted dice pay. Pero si estamos hablando de que Cindy va a pagar, Cindy pay. Ah, ya. Yeah. Yeah. Porque sí se aplica Gracias. lo que usted dice, Paulita. Cuando tenemos Ajá. vocal, consonante. Vowel, ah, okay. consonant. Solo se agrega S. Exacto. Ahí ah, se sí okay. es sencillo, ¿verdad? Porque solo se agrega S. Sí. Very good. Ok, let's move on. Veamos. En el... 
present progressive también tienen reglas gramaticales así, ¿ok? Espero que las hayan aprendido, como cuando tienen que double it up de consonant, cuando tenemos que doblar la consonante, right? O cuando vamos a emitir, a uh, omitir. Let's check this. Let me listen to Alison Juárez, please. Read sentence number one and sentence number two. The baby cries when it's hungry. It flies to Canada every day. Exactly, thank you. Um, Andrea, read sentence number three and number four. Anna hurries every day to catch the bus. Also, Maria is not a good student. She tries to get good grades. Very good, thank you. Aldo es otro conector. Recuerden que ayer estuvimos haciendo un paragraph, all right? Algunos me, util me utilizaron... Ooh, I forgot which one. Guadalupe lo utilizó. Recuérdeme, Guadalupe, cuál fue el que yo utilicé, que usted también utilizó. Where else? Where else? Where is? Where is? Exactly. Tenemos despite, que se escribe despite, right? Despite, que significa a pesar de. Tenemos oldo, right? Que es el que tenemos aquí en la sentence. Oldo, que significa aunque. Oldo, Maria is not a good student, aunque Maria no es una buena estudiante. She tries to get good grades. Trata de obtener buenas notas, right? We don't know how. Teacher. Yes. Teacher, y para en el caso del sin embargo. Uh, puede ser moreover. Even though. Para sin embargo, sí. Moreover puede ser. However. También however. Sí, el más común y el más sencillo es however. Exactly. Right. Sería el how de cómo. Y el ever, pero un el ever, un however, yes. oh, okay. however, moreover okay. es además de, moreover, right? Very Thank good. you, teacher, Andy. Welcome, Andy, y pleasure, all right? Eh, sí, va a haber algún momento que lo van a ver ustedes en algún nivel, all right? I'm not sure which one, estoy segura en cuál, pero yo me les adelanto, porque yo vi que ustedes tienen eh, good rhythm, tienen un buen ritmo de aprendizaje, entonces creo que hay cositas que ya las pueden ir obteniendo desde ya. Okay, now, simple present eh, statements. Antes de pasar a esto del simple present statements, como ya tenemos las reglas gramaticales, quiero que cada uno de ustedes me haga una sentence, pero me la van a enviar en el chat, porque quiero ver el grammar, quiero ver la gramática, ¿ok? Utilizando cualquiera de, estos, de estas actions, go, catch, watch, flash, or kiss, Y las otras que serían cry, fly, eh, hurry, and try. ¿Ok? Tercera persona singular. Siempre me la van a utilizar. Pueden sustituir la tercera persona singular. Eh, bueno, no la sustituyen, sino que sustituyen el sujeto por un now. Pueden hacerlo, right? Write it down on the chat box. Me la escriben en el chat box. Vamos a ver, vamos a ver. Here, sí, este es el chat box, Paulito. Donde usted escribe es el chat box.
If you have your sentences, you may start sending them, all right? Ya pueden iniciar a enviarlas por el chat box. Veamos, veamos. My sister cries for her kitten. My boyfriend washes the dishes. Thinking, <laughs> right? Very good, excellent. Ay, no, Paulita, porque me envió esa primera sentence. Ahora yo voy a llorar por mi perrita. <laughs> Susan goes, uh, Jancy, Susan goes to the gym. Goes the gym weekend. No, ahí no me está diciendo nada. All right. Susan goes to the gym on weekends, tal vez. My friend studies for the exam. Mm -hmm. But he always says, I can do it. <laughs> all right. That, that's, I'm your friend, Andrea, all right. My grandfather watches TV right now. Mm. Andreita, si usted me utiliza right now, significa que la acción se está haciendo progresiva, está haciendo en este momento. Por ende, como este es presente simple, estamos hablando de una actividad diaria, no que se está realizando en el momento, no podemos agregar right now. Sin embargo, las demás sí están correctas. Y esa también, solo quitémonos el right now. Y voy dándoles el thumbs up a los que están correctas. Ajá, uh -huh, exactly, Jancy. Ahora sí ya está correcta. Every day, sí. Andrea, ahí sí puede. Okay, number one. Mary catches a ball because she's on the playing field. Yes, very good. Yes, that's correct, Cindy. Guadalupe. My sister goes to the cinema every Saturday. My brother watches his favorite series on TV. Yes, very good. Alison, my sister goes to school in the morning. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Vamos a ver quién más me falta. Me falta Miguel, me falta Oscar. Y me, fal me falta Wendy, Arevalo y Mayra. Let's wait for them. Esperémoslas, tal vez. Y esperémoslas. Tal vez pueda. Yes, Wendy, simple as that. My dad goes to work every day. Oscar, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, yeah, you're working, all right? Don't worry, thank you. Keep on doing what you're doing. What about Miguel? Where is Miguel? We're waiting for you. And Mayra, where's Mayra? No, yo creo que Miguel de seguro está ocupado, pero Mayra? Ah, no, ya la envió. All right. Miguel Angel goes to the park every day. Uh -huh. My mom tries to move. 
tries to move her legs every day. To moving ya es, eh, no es progresivo en realidad, ya está en gerundio, pero no aplica en este contexto. My mother tries to move. Tries to move, okay. No, sería my mother tries to move o my mother eh, tries moving her legs. Right. En este caso sí puede quitarle el tú y dejarle solo moving y ahí estaría correcto. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Excellent, everyone. Congrats. Los felicito. As per usual, great job. Como es usual, un excelente trabajo. Ahora, let's go with this. Vamos a otra practice. Primero con el, seguimos con el simple present statements. Let me listen to Paula and Jancy de Odanes. All right. Paula, positive statements, los que son positivos. Jancy, los negatives. Van a ir uno en uno, uno en uno, right? O sea que las dos van a trabajar al mismo tiempo. Action. I work to a school. I don't live far from here. <clears throat> you ride your bike to a school? You don't live near here. Live. You don't live. You, you, work. you don't live near here. He works near here. He doesn't work downtown. She takes the bus to work. She doesn't drive to work. We live with our parents. We don't live alone. Águila, todos se fueron en lo mismo. We, we live, Paulita, we live. Live, we live. They use public transportation. They don't need a car. Perfect, thank you, both of you. Muchísimas gracias a ambas. Third person singular. Well, we've been talking about pretty much third person the whole the whole time. Quiero preguntarles, because I actually don't remember. No recuerdo. Ya hicimos esta practice. Ya hicimos esta práctica con ustedes. No? Okay. So let's do it. Entonces hagámoslo. Right? Yes, but with other statements. Ah, entonces no hemos hecho esta practice, Cindy. <laughs> okay. Ah, ya se quiere capaz, ya lo vi. Pues no. All right, we're still missing 15 minutes. Okay, uh, let's work on it, please. Trabajenlas. Uh, I know that maybe not all of you are going to finish. No la van a trabajar hasta la 15. Solo trabajen de number 1 to 10. Okay, from 1 to 10. Let's work on it.
Okay, so I think that you might have finished already. If not, let's start, all right? Si no, igual, vamos a ir viendo ahí cuáles son las correctas. Let's get started with la primera, veamos. Eh, Mayra, tell me, what do you have for number one? I study every day. Mayra, ¿es tercera persona usted? No. <laughs> exactly. Entonces, ¿cómo tiene I que study, decir? I study English every day. Yes. Perfect, Mayra. Very good. I study English every day. Andrea, number two. Okay, teacher. Solo voy a pasar a la página donde lo tenía porque lo hice aquí en el Word. The number two. Ah, we teach English. That's correct. <laughs> Simple as that. <laughs> yeah, we teach English. Thank you. Wendy Arevalo, number three. He pays me will. Exactly. Um, Paula, number four. Daniel flies to Paris once a year. Vale, sí está correcto, Paula. Solo que la pronunciación es flies. Flies. Exacto. Ok. Eh, Miguel, number five. She never does her homework. Excellent. Alison, number six. Be here always pushes somebody. Thank you. Um, Jancy, number seven. They want to do something special tonight. Exactly. Number eight, Cindy. Baby never mixes eggs and vinegar together. Yes, exactly. That would be weird. Let's listen to Guadalupe with number 10. No, number 9. Your microphone went. Okay, sorry. The room is on fire. Exactly. Very good. Que bueno. Ella vio que to be está en infinitivo, pero no pensó que iba a utilizar una oración en progresivo o algo más. Simplemente utilizó el to be en present, que es el is, o el are, o el am. Very good. And number 10, let me check. Creo que Oscar todavía might be busy. So let's go with the next one. Vamos a ver quién es me falta. No one. Ok, Miguel, tell me number 10, please. Okay, I usually help my mother cook. Very good. Excellent. Now, you don't need to write down. No necesitan escribir. Improvisamos con las siguientes. 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Okay, so 11, eh, Wendy Arevalo. You still? You, you still believe in Santa Claus. Very good. Eh, Paula, 12. My neighbor. My neighbor has a new car. Excellent. 13. Andrea. My sister. My sister speaks in English. Exactly. Guadalupe, 14. Frank goes to work every day. Mm -hmm. And Cindy, 15. Martha and Paul swim twice a week. Excellent. Thank you. All right? Very good. Let's move on to the following. The auxiliary is do and does. You already told me at the beginning how were they used. We know them. Vamos a ver. Aquí está. And let's check. You might remember WH words. De seguro recuerdan las palabras con WH, right? And when do we use, para qué utilizamos el when? Time. Time, excellent. Um, Guadalupe, 
what do we use in how? Um, how? For us, um, um, to a person? Right, yes. For a reason. A reason. Exactly. Queremos una razón, right? O como lo hizo. How was something done? Very good. And how do we use why? Para que utilizamos why, Miguel. What do we use why? Para que utilicemos why? For the reason. For a reason, exactly. It's also for a reason. Very good. Thank you. Now, my dear students, we're going to stop in here because we're just about to finish. I just want to do a friendly reminder. Solo quiero hacer un recordatorio amistoso, ¿verdad? Eh, me faltan algunas personas que no han finalizado la plataforma. Eh, felicito de antemano a los que sí lo hicieron. Hay algunos que de la semana pasada ya la tenían hecho, otra oh, ya la tenían hecha, perdón. Hay otros que la han trabajado esta semana. So far you are doing amazing. Hasta ahorita están haciendo muy bien, all right. You have no miscomplaint. No hay ninguna queja de este grupo. Espero que el siguiente nivel les toque unidos para que puedan ayudarse también. Eh, de seguro no les va a tocar conmigo porque I'm not gonna be in here, maybe. I'm not sure. But eh, Congratulations, and I wish you the best. Les deseo lo mejor, all right? Sé que nivel 2 eh, ha sido um, quizás intermedio, no muy complicado, all right? Sí van a venir temas más fuertes, pero yo creo que sí lo van a lograr. Con certeza puedo decir sí lo van a lograr. Esfuércense, all right? Eh, hasta ahorita yo he visto que durante todas las clases hay personas que no me han fallado. Not even one class, ni siquiera una clase. Así que continúen haciendo ese big effort, ese gran esfuerzo, and you will see the results. Y van a ver los resultados. All right? So it was a pleasure to be with you, and I'll see you soon. Bye. Take care. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. Bye. Take care. Bye. Bye. Take care.